What's up YouTube? I lacerate from Team Armored here, bringing you some great spots on Hammer Blow. I'm going to start with Site 1. Uh, site 1 can be complicated. Don't sit here. It's a nade spot. Bad spot to sit unless, you know, you're in a team and you're trying to cover this back door. I would sit somewhere back here because you're going to have another teammate up ahead. Um, this is even a good spot as well to sit for that coverage. Um, as far as sitting here, this is a really bad spot. And it's controversial. It can be a good spot if you can hit the shot. If you can't, don't play it. Um, uh, it's very wall bangable here. Uh, it's very possible to get wall banged there by you know anything strong. I would sit up here by uh, White Gen. White Gen's right outside there, and you have this really nice coverage because you know over here this is a pre-fire zone. This is um, you know the, the people wall bang here. People you know shoot this barrel, which is a problem. That's why you don't want to be next to that, especially in a real game. So definitely over here by White Gen's where you want to be at. Um, you can get that really nice peak. Um, snipers will play out there, and sometimes they become easy prey for you to be uh, peeking there. Um, if they were say if they were sitting there looking underneath these vehicles, uh, say like so. Uh, most scopes, most good scopes do that. But if you're here and you heard them scope in, boom, done. Not a problem. Scope down. Um, as far as if you want to play on the right hand side of the site because you feel more comfortable over here, this is a bad spot. I wouldn't sit here. I would sit somewhere back here. Um, you get a lot more functionality. You get a lot more sight. Um, you are farther away. It does make it a little bit of a harder shot, but um, you could definitely help your team out by throwing some nades at door there. Um, maybe if the scope didn't see you right away, or maybe if you can get a wall bang on bridge, definitely a good spot to sit. Um, definitely a great spot for you to um, function and work with. Don't sit back here. This is a grenade spot, and don't ever play here. I shouldn't see anybody playing here, really. At all. Ever. I'd rather you play dead center site than in those back two corners. Those are the two worst places to be. Um, everybody always checks them. It's always it's always a problem. It really is. Um, if, they're, if you are going to play out here, th this is a scopes territory. Really on this map. Here is where a scope will be sitting on defense. And, you know, if you happen to see a scope, don't peek him twice. Don't give him another chance. Just... If you see them, great, fuck, you know, you're kind of stuck, um, you know, call for help or, you know, whatever you can do, maybe try and flank them uh, to site two. This is a bad spot. Um, this is a better spot. Uh, it does leave you vulnerable to scopes. Um, you know, it, this has its perks if you have somebody covering warehouse. Um, because if you're sitting here guarding the site, you can come up here. You can kind of get that advantage pick here. Everybody does check this spot, but it, it's been played. And it, it can definitely help you out. Um, don't play back here. Uh, obvious reasons. Um, I would play somewhere up here if you can. Because you can see DD and you can kind of see what's going on. And in case you didn't know, DD is double doors. Um, don't play here because it kind of you know, negates the fact of you being able to see what's going on, and that's a wall bang spot, so it's just a bad spot. Uh, scopes like to play here, so be wary of that. Uh, be wary that scopes will pick you from this range without a problem. Um, as far as playing down on the floor level of sight, this is a good spot, although people can see your feet in shadows sometimes, so I would recommend playing on the other side if possible. Um, a lot of people wall bang that spot, and if you came out and got the pick here, that's great. Uh, playing mid, this is the farthest I would go competitively, um, just because it's it gets really dangerous. Because if you're by yourself, you don't wanna, you really don't wanna mess around with all that. Um, going back into site, we have a warehouse, which you'll have one teammate rushing this way, one teammate rushing this way, and you lock it down and secure it quickly. Um, that is the that is a nice control point to have because if they can't take warehouse, they only got mid and one to go. So. I mean, as far as, you know, you, you comfortability, this is a good place to be. Um, even this is a good place to be. Um, you know, this doorway isn't a real doorway, obviously, because half a doorway would put somebody at 10 feet tall. Um, you need to use a better headshot line here, which is uh, like up ahead, three quarters of the wall on the right there that I'm pointing at. 
three quarters of the wall is a good spot. Um, in case you didn't know where the headshot levels were on a map, you could always go in practice mode like I am and just aim up a little bit and stand next to it. You can kind of tell that's where your head is. So going back over here, you'll be able to definitely see that three quarters is roughly the headshot line there. Um, going back into sight, uh, this is a really bad spot to sit. It does make your character fully black, um, but I would rather you play up here if possible because this is a way better spot to play. This spot's been played often enough as well. Uh, it's a very common spot, but it is very productive. Um, you can get a lot out, but this spot right here is just no. It's just bad. You're blocked in, and if there's a scope here in Warehouse, there's really only one way to get out of there. And most of the time, you don't make it all out alive. Um, that's, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, other than this spot, this spot is a really good spot to sit. Um, so you can get that pick and the pre-fire picks and you can always rotate back here and get another pick and even rotate through over to here and get another pick. Scopes could also practice uh, floating, a term that we use, uh, meaning that you stand from this point and try and get picks and basically float over to back here or over here and you try and get those picks. Uh, you float to where you're needed. If your teammate dies over here, you just rotate, get the pick. Um, you know, rotate back over, get the pick. You're just basically covering two long distances that rifles have a hard time hitting, at least most rifles. Other than that, that's Hammer Blow.